Hi, my name is Dan Atkinson, and I'm an Evergy Loss Control Specialist, and I'm at the 2023 FRI Convention. And we're here to walk around the Evergy trailer that Weiss Fire manufactured for us. This is our response trailer that we have. We bought, purchased three of these, and these trailers are going to primarily protect our infrastructure at our plants. This trailer that we're looking at is going to go to into Lynn County. Uh, we're working with the fire department there and it's going to be the primary, one of the primary fire protection uh, pieces of equipment that will protect our Lacine Energy Center plant. So we're just starting here at the front and we're kind of walking around the trailer to show some of the, the uh, features of this trailer. Uh, and a lot of these trailer, these three trailers, this is kind of 2.0, if you will, on these trailers. Uh, the first three uh, were the first ones that were manufactured, and these are really an improvement. Uh, so some of the features are a little bit different, but we did make some upgrades into our uh, automatic uh, jack stands. Uh, these jack stands can be just pushed by a, a, a button, a hand, one finger, and it can go out and the reason we did that is for easy a lot of times there's only one or two uh, firefighters setting uh, this trailer up on scene so we're we're, we're thinking about simplicity and, and functionality uh, we're also thinking about safety uh, at Evergy we we safety is one of our our core values that we have and so pinch points and you know heavy lifting we, we want to engineer some of that out. So working with the engineers at Weiss Fire, we helped come up with an upgrade to these jack stands to, uh, to be better for us uh, in this type of trailer. We also had to add a generator, Honda generator. Uh, on scene, uh, a lot of times when events happen, it's in the middle of the night uh, and uh, you can't see. So to properly set up and to be safe uh, with minimal staffing, you need good lighting to see what you're doing. So when you're either hooking up the trailer or you're unhooking the trailer and setting it up, you need good scene lighting. And to do that, you need a good power system to do that. So that's what the Honda generator does for us. We also have a pump here on the front. And this, again, is uh, part of a learning curve that we have to use with our firefighters because they're used to starting pumps on fire trucks and so when they see it they want to start it up but really all this pump does it's a real fancy uh, onboarding and offboarding pump for the F500 that we use in this system so it doesn't do anything for pressure although Weiss Fire could make you a system that would do that in our uh, system we did not need a pump to pump extra pressure because we have plenty of pressure at the at the power plant. And then on the front, this is really the, the big manifold. Uh, this is kind of the, the brains behind uh, the trailer itself. We have three major uh, eduction systems for the F500. And these first two are inch and a half e eduction uh, monitors followed by a, a three inch. And this is what the water comes in from the fire truck or it comes in from a water supply from a fire hydrant or even maybe a, a tender or a tank. Water comes in, it goes through the induction system, it mixes with the F500, and we can actually set the percentages at one, three, or six percent on the, the eductors. And so that's what gives us the eduction, because really all this trailer is, is a, it's a big eductor. Uh, fire departments have small eductors on their fire trucks. Uh, this is a lot larger eduction system and can be used at a fire scene to enhance fire protection and prevention. So we walk around to uh, some features of fire attack. Again, we needed a, an element of quick response with these trailers and to make it like a piece of fire apparatus. So we put two inch and a half pre-connects on here for 
firefighters to go ahead and pull and, and mobilize and attack a fire uh, quickly and efficiently. Uh, the beauty of, of this trailer, again, with our relationships with the fire departments is to, in some cases, we have these trailers parked at the fire stations. They can maintain all the hose, maintain the equipment, and then they're assured that the equipment is going to be ready for emergency response. So coming on around, you know, we have a little bigger supply, so we have some monitors uh, that we can use on this trailer as well. So we have a bigger three inch supply uh, of hose that can move more volume of water uh, along with the induction of the F500 to be put on a, a larger type fire. We also made uh, some modifications on the, the uh, tires. Uh, the 1.0 version of these trailers had trailer axle, axle tires and so the uh, Weiss fire engineers came up with a design that made it uh, a little more pleasing to the eye, but didn't take anything away from the capacity that we needed to haul the, the, the weight of the equipment and the F500. So they came up with uh, a design of an axle and a tire that looked a little more, again, pleasing to the eye, but didn't take away any functionality of the trailer so we really appreciate that again we we see some some jacks on the back we need stabilization uh, on the back so we've got two two jacks on the back that can help stabilize the uh, trailer why it's being in use or even in storage we also have uh, some addition of the scene lighting I talked a little bit earlier on the uh, Honda generator and so that generate, generator runs the scene lighting that we have on the trailer. And it is uh, very functional for us at nighttime uh, to light up a scene so we can be more safe and can see what we're doing at the fire and when we're setting up or tearing down the trailer. So that's a really ad nice added feature.